Although it is not strictly a type of genetic mosaicism, mosaicism of the X chromosome is not to be overlooked. And this is done by the process of X inactivation in females and also in males who have more than one copy of the X chromosome. For the sake of simplicity, I will use a female for this example. So when the two gametes of the father and the mother fused together, there will be one paternal X chromosome and one maternal X chromosome. And that will be the two X chromosomes that are present in the zygote. And then as the zygote undergoes further cell division, it will finally have to undergo something called X chromosome inactivation. This is when one of the X chromosome is basically just inactivated, so its genes will not be translated into proteins at all. And the X chromosome that has been inactivated will be called a bar body. So you end up with one X chromosome, like normal, and a bar body, although it's not shown here. The process of X inactivation is totally random. Then they undergo further cell division to make more of the same kinds of cells with the same kinds of X chromosome that's inactivated. So you end up with a mosaic of cells with paternal and maternal X chromosomes randomly inactivated. And in the mature female, there will be random regions of cells where there are maternal X chromosomes and random regions of cells where there are paternal X chromosomes. Important key notes you must take into account. And first of all, it is that X inactivation is an incomplete process. Even though we say that one of the X chromosome is inactivated and turns into something called a bar body, actually in total about 15% of the X chromosome is not inactivated. And that is the tips of the short and long arm of those X chromosomes. They just don't undergo inactivation at all. They have homologous genes on the Y chromosome. This is done so that females would still have the proteins that males have from the Y chromosome, but females would have it from the tip of the long and short arms of their X chromosomes. And as a result of the incomplete X inactivation process, patients who lack a chromosome or who have one or more extra chromosomes, they will all suffer from some kind of phenotype that is abnormal. Hope this has helped some of you out and please like and subscribe for more.